Mr. Blair's relationship with the royal family during his time as Prime Minister was not always the smoothest. His wife Cherie did not curtsy to the Queen on her first visit to Balmoral in 1997, and wore a trouser suit, which allegedly left the Queen Mother mortified. Her Majesty's interests famously clashed with Mr. Blair's too. It is no secret that the monarch loves the countryside, country sports, horses and dogs, while Mr. Blair prefers the city, holidays in Barbados, tennis and football. For this reason, the traditional annual visit by the Prime Minister to Balmoral reportedly became something of an ordeal for the Labour leader and the lengths of their stays were kept to a minimum. Moreover, according to a throwback report by the Daily Express, the former Prime Minister found himself at odds with the monarch after he was accused of showing disrespect. In 2005, just 24 hours after promising the public he would listen to their every concern following his victory in that year's general election, Mr. Blair was accused of being behind an astonishing snub to the Queen over Vey Day, which left her hurt and puzzled. The Prime Minister reportedly stopped the Queen and other party leaders from attending the Vey Day Memorial Commemoration at the Cenotaph, at which she wanted to pay her respect to those who lost their lives for their country. Mr. Blair instead decided to spend the weekend at Chequers, his country retreat, putting together the finishing touches to a government reshuffle. A Downing Street spokesman said, Consideration was given as to whether the Prime Minister and other party leaders should attend Sunday's commemorations of Bay Day. But it was more appropriate to attend the national commemoration alongside the Queen on July 10. The spokesman refused to say whether arrangements for Mr. Blair to attend the event had been made and then cancelled at short notice. The report reads, Stopping the Queen attending the commemoration as being seen as revenge for the small role Mr. Blair played at the Queen Mother's funeral. In a decision that has caused widespread uproar, Ministry of Defense bureaucrats organizing the celebrations for Vey Day were told by Downing Street that the Queen was not included. Instead they were ordered to be relegated to the events later this summer, well after the proper anniversary. Buckingham Palace insiders expressed astonishment at the decision and admitted that the Queen's absence from Vey Day was unusual. One courtier said she was, hurt and puzzled. Moreover, the report quotes a palace spokeswoman as saying, it was not the Queen's decision not to be there, in fact she would very much live to have been included. Another source close to Her Majesty added, she had no part in deciding whether or not to go to this weekend's events, and in fact she would really like to be there. The people organizing this appear to have forgotten that the Queen is the only surviving member of the royal family, who was actually on the Buckingham Palace balcony with the King and Queen when peace was declared throughout Europe. Since she has not been invited she will attend a private service at St. George's Chapel, Windsor, and to commemorate this special day in her own way. Mr. Blair returned to the limelight last week, as he passionately condemned U.S. President Joe Biden's decision to withdraw troops in Afghanistan. In his first public comments on the crisis since the Afghan government collapsed last weekend, Blair criticized the U.S. motives for the withdrawal as, imbecilic, and, driven not by grand strategy but by politics. He wrote in a wide-ranging article published on his institute's website, the abandonment of Afghanistan and its people is tragic, dangerous, unnecessary, not in their interests and not in ours. We didn't need to do it. We chose to do it. 
We did it in obedience to an imbecilic political slogan about ending the forever wars as if our engagement in 2021 was remotely comparable to our commitment 20 or even 10 years ago. Related articles Diana's heartbreaking admission before engagement laid bare Prince Charles allegedly branded Edward an idiot during Furious Row Meghan admitted not knowing England's national emblem.